Hey, welcome back to the part two of the recycle view. Here we will have in the activity gallery a bunch of items like this. We'll be putting them in inside the recycle view and we need a way to provide a binding from the data set to the views that are displayed within the recycle view following this layout. So let's create a new class and name it adapter. This class should receive our records from the gallery activity. And extend recycler view adapter class that needs a view holder here. So the view holder main job is to map item view layout we just built to the recycler view so it knows what our audio records layout contains and how to set values and interact with it. We will create it inside our class and name it view holder. It has an item view of type view and it extends recycler view dot view holder and give it the item view. Here we will link our fields to variables. First one is file name of type text view and we get it from the item view find by id r dot id dot tv file name copy paste this for the second text view and change the id the last thing we need is the checkbox and same way we get it from the item view and we specify the view holder we'll be using now the adapter needs some methods these three we have the onCreate view holder get item count and bind view holder the onCreate view holder is invoked by the recycler view it creates a new view holder but does not fill in the data so just create a new view inflate it using layout inflator from the parent from the parent context and then inflate it from the resource file item view holder give it the parent window and don't attach it to the root element now we need to return a view holder with this view as parameter so this function returns a view holder object and gives it a view this view is the content of the layout and this class here links every single element of the layout to a variable now the get item count just returns the number of elements inside the recycle view and is used to determine when to start displaying new items just return records dot size now here where the magic happens the recycle view calls it to associate a view holder with a data instance and fill in each field so first of all we need to check that the position is valid and is different from recycler view dot no position this may happen when we try to draw items while the recycler view is still loading so now get our record from the records at the specified position the holder have the file name TV file name set the text to the record dot file name and we also need to set the TV meta text element to first 
the record duration and then the timestamp so the timestamp was in a long format we need to write it in the string format we'll be using we'll be doing this with a simple date format and we give it the following pattern day then the month and the year let's create a date object from the timestamp and finally create a string date from the date using the simple date format and the date it's SDF um, now let's add it here and that's it for the adapter in the next video we will be filling the gallery activity to attach the recycler view and the adapter to display data see you then